Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Super League, it's your boy Odin, and today I wanted to bring you guys an updated and condensed Astro Gem guide, uh, so without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Uh, so, first thing you're going to want to do is obviously log in every single day, and you want to make sure that you are logged in for your at least 3 hours so that you can complete your bingo. Um, if you log in on Mondays, you'll get 100 Astro Gems given to you, so if you do the math, Four times four, four weeks in a month, you'll end up getting 400 Astro Gems for free. I'm just going to go ahead and select this right now. You won't see me collect the entire thing here because I'm logged into my phone device as well. So, um, you know, all of these will be collected once I log in on my phone. Uh, another thing that you guys want to do is, of course, do the daily um, ad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and speed through this one here. Uh, that way you guys can uh, just see the end clip, see how many we get. Usually it's 20 uh, per day. All right, and here it is on my screen. We're basically getting 20. You do the math, 20 times 30 days. That's how many Astro Gems you'll be getting. It should be around, uh, well, hold on, let me do the math real quick. 600 Astro Gems. So you should be getting 600 Astro Gems as long as you do the daily ad uh, 30 days in a row. Another thing you wanna do right away is, of course, do the uh, energy uh, ad the gold ad which i've already done and then most importantly you want to make sure that you get your 10 daily tickets for the arena as well uh, the main reason for that is because we're going to go ahead and talk about the next thing out of here which is the best and easy way to get astro gems for new players especially when you're in your first week is to go ahead and collect your 10 tickets and then go over to the Astromon League. Um, we'll go over the Champions League a little bit later. But what you want to do is you want to actually only do the random match. You want to save as many tickets as you can and you only want to do the random match. If you do the random match, you know, every 10 minutes that you can reset it, you can climb up the ranks pretty, pretty quickly. Um, and you can end up being, you know, all the way up to Masters tier by the time that it gets to Saturday as long as you win every, um, you know, a random match that you can but don't be wasteful don't you know just hit some of these because some of these guys here you know depending on who you're fighting they'll only give you you know four points uh, up the ladder which doesn't really do you any any good what you want to do is you want to take advantage of that ticket and you want to just use only the random match every 10 minutes that way you can essentially just rank up throughout the entire week um, and then when it comes to Sunday, you'll have at least an extra 300 Astro Gems, 400 Astro Gems, 500 Astro Gems, however many that is. So that's exactly what you want to do. So don't be wasteful with your tickets. Collect your 10 a day. Only do the uh, random match, and you should be good enough to get at least, at the very least, 300 Astro Gems. I, I think it's perfectly achievable get, to get to the Challengers Arena by uh, Saturday, Sunday morning. So there's that. Um, another thing that you want to do once that is completed is you're going to go ahead and head over to the uh, summon page because, as you all know, uh, every three days you'll get a free um, summon without the ad, but then you'll also get three daily uh, summons that you get with the ad. So you can essentially watch the ad three times and get three eggs, or you can basically do every three days you'll get one free summon regardless of the ad or not. So it's just an easy thing that you want to do. So once you've opened up your egg, and I wish my stupid thing, oh, perfect, very monkey key, great. Um, the Arthur tickets are actually up right now. Uh, guys, I'll show you the summon rates in a little bit. They're not very good. Don't waste your, your gems on that yet, especially if you're a new player. Don't even go for those. Just stay away from that page. It's not really good for you. Uh, so the other thing that I was going to talk about is, of course, uh, the... Uh, friends so every five days um, if you do this you should end up getting 50 so every five days you'll get 50 Astro Gems but if you do it every day you will also get 50 energy back so as long as you have 50 friends you'll get 50 energy a day and you'll see this right here so there you go you got your 50 energy and then every five days that you complete this bar, so every five days that you've sent your, your friend's energy, you'll also get a gem. So every five days you can actually get 50 Astro Gems as well. So, so that's one easy way to get some more gems that way. And then another thing that you're going to do is once you're done with that is you're going to actually just do, uh, and this is my recommendation to you guys, do your slimes every single Monday. 
uh, the reason why is because you'll have an extra 15% capture rate up so you, you can basically go into any story mode uh, any quest and uh, just collect your astromon what you want to do there is you want to go ahead and pick up some slimes I, mean, I think I, I'm pretty close to the slimes here let me go ahead and show you guys here there we go I got three so that means I gotta capture four more I'm gonna pause the actually no I'm gonna go ahead and continue I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna do so step by step I'm not gonna skip it this time um, but it, it'll be a really quick and condensed guide I'm gonna try to make this guide no more than like 10 minutes so alright so once you're done with that you're gonna go ahead and go into this is every Monday guys you know the reason why I say every Monday is because that way if you forget to do it one day or um, you know you you miss a couple or you didn't finish them all on Monday at least you can do them the rest of the week the last thing that you want to do is you want to leave the sliming for Sunday I know that the weekends will give you the capture rate up but if you leave it for Sunday guaranteed you're going to miss quite a few of those and you can let me know in the comments down below if you're just as guilty as I am but there are weeks where I will literally not do all of the slimes and I'll only get like you know um maybe four out of the ten that that you get to do where you get a thousand astrogems. So the way that this works is you're going to capture yourself 16 slimes. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly just skip through this. Okay. I decided to bring this up one last minute because this is very helpful. If you're running press for time and you want to do it really quickly, all you're going to do is capture your three Astromon, which I've already captured. All you're going to do is give up. I don't recommend you guys to give up just because when you give up, you'll actually end up um, sometimes missing out on a couple extra hits. And if you hit the slime, sometimes they'll give you some uh, energy back. Uh, it all depends on how many times you hit them, but a very small chance of, of getting some energy back. But the more attempts that you do, the more times you hit them, the, the higher chance you have of getting an energy back. So, uh, and again, another reason why you want to do it on Monday is because, one, you'll have, th you know, at least 600 or 300 uh, energy that you'll get from the daily ad. So that should give you plenty of energy to, to at least do, you know, four or five slimes. Um, and, or at least... If, four evo three slimes every monday that way you have a little bit of extra time to do the rest during the weekend so i'm going to show you guys this one more time all i need is just one more so i'm going to go ahead and just do this and hopefully i'll catch it perfect it is monday so you know my capture rate up is way above so all right and then once i've gotten it i'm done and it'll still show you on the capture page that you have captured it so you don't have to wait until the end so there you go there is the slime you don't have to complete the stage to to uh, capture the slime is what I'm trying to get at so now that that is done I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the ship and I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do to slime I mean I know most of this stuff is gonna be uh, you know common knowledge but a lot of you guys have been playing for a long long time especially since you know this has been a thing since Monster Super League started, but you can get a thousand astrogems uh, a week doing this. So what you do is you get this astromon here to evolution level two. And one thing that's very, very important is after you get one monster to Evo two, you need to go ahead and back out of here. And you're going to go ahead and collect that astrogem here. So that'll give you 10. So if you do that 40 times, so get, you know, um, 40 astromon to evolution level 2 you'll be able to collect up to uh, 400 astrogems that way all you're doing is getting 10 astromon to, to evo 2 and you'll get 40 400 astrogem excuse me and then to get him to evo 3 all you need is four evo 2 slimes you're gonna go ahead and do that and don't worry about the gold guys i'll show you guys you know how, how i get a lot a lot of my gold back um in here in a minute as well so there we go we got our slime to evo 3 Gonna go ahead and back that back out of there, and you're gonna go over here to your challenges. You're gonna collect your 60. So you can essentially get 10 Astromon to Evolution Evo, Evo 3 every week, and that'll give you 600 Astrogems. And then 10 Astromon to Evolution or 40 Astromon to Evolution Level 2 will give you 400. So you add that up, that's a thousand Astrogems. So every four weeks, essentially, you can get 4,000 uh, gold, or ev every week, you can get a thousand. So every month, you should be able to get. Uh, 4,000 uh, astrogems back. 
So once that's done, obviously you want to make sure you go ahead and do your dailies. You do, you do your daily, you're going to get 30 astrogems. You know, you do 30 times 30. There you go. There's a decent amount. Let's go ahead and do the math here out because apparently I can't do math today. 30 times 30 is 900. So I'll give you 900 astrogems every month. And of course, the same information is available in my long guide. But here, I'm just going to try to condense this really quickly. Um, once you do that, guys, all you're going to do is just basically run to the story mode do any stage that you want uh, if you're a new player i highly recommend you guys to just farm the uh phantom forest go ahead and capture your kokomaro get at least one to evo three he may seem like he's not the best astromon but believe it or not he's actually very good he comes with a stun and sap which as you'll come to find out you'll need this stun for tower of chaos you'll need this stun for a lot of the story there's a lot of wood state or water stages that are very hard so wood kokomaro is a good astromon to build for a lot of you new players Another thing you want out of here is the water, the Wood Miho. Wood Miho comes with defense down and uh, stun, so another great Astromon to build. She can also be super e bold very, very good. And then, of course, the uh, Fire Birdie is here, uh, but you won't even, or not Fire Birdie, Stormbeak, Flashwing, Bullwing, whatever you want to call him. He's here as well. You can definitely save him. You'll essentially build uh, a two of the light ones later on once you get onto endgame. Once you've done the story, you'll capture Varian Astromon, just like how I pulled that Varian Monkiki, uh, and you'll capture Rares. So that's your end goal there, is you're going to run this story as many times as you can, because what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and capture them up. So here I've, I've saved a couple so that you guys can see, but you can get um, five Astrogems from Evolution Level 2 Mons, or your two-star Mons. Uh, you'll get um, you know ten Astrogems from your three-star Mons. Uh, you know, you can so on and on and in a wood radis for example it's a three star mon he'll give you 20 he's a rare uh, and then of course the legendary uh here i caught a fire mammoth for 50. so you you do that every single day guys that should give you plenty of estrogens back just capturing the variants coming back to the capture page here and just getting some of those astrogems uh, back from your from your you know weekly activities complete your weekly gems make sure that you also do oh for gold guys absolutely must do the daily ad gold ad and, you know sometimes it'll give you 50 to 100 250 whatever it's almost nothing but it's still something so next thing that we're going to do for gold guys is i'm going to i'm going to show you guys what i'll do here in a little bit but when, one more thing that you want to do for gold guys every day depending on what the bonus is today it happens to be the uh what the water one this is, or, or not, excuse me, the, the dark one is today. So Mondays, the dark uh, golem dungeon is up. It means you can farm your dark superstones. Every Monday, you, or depending on the day, you'll have uh, these fruits here for free. And all you got to do is feed 100 of, or 500 of them uh, to any Astromon. And you should be able to get 25,000, uh, what do you call it, um, gold back. So you want to feed those on the days that it's free. Um, and every 500 or so, you'll see, here we go, feed an astronaut fruit 500 times. As long as you do that on the day that that, that fruit is free, you can get 25,000 gold back. So save your water ones, save your wood ones, save your fire fruits, and feed them on those specific, specific days. That's one way to get gold back really, really quickly without having to um, you know, go too crazy and, and wild. What you want to do with the Astromon that you captured from the story, and this is another thing that you'll do for the gold, as well as Astrogems and eggs, guys, and this is the most important thing of them all. Once you've captured all of these Astromon here, you're just going to go ahead and select them all, including the, the ones that you, the, the Nat 3s that you get from the story. Unless you're planning on building one, go ahead and just trash it. And the reason why you're going to trash them is this. Once you go ahead and release them, you should be able to get gold, fruit, uh, sometimes Astro Gems back. Um, looks like we got one, two, uh, two eggs. And, but we got 100,000 gold here, 140, uh, 170, 200,000, 300,000, 310, 340, etc. So that's one way to get tons of fruit. By the way, guys, these normal fruit, the rare fruit, you can feed those on Saturday and Sunday for free. And same thing, you can get that 25,000 gold back. So just keep on go, go, you know, basically going through that and just go crazy. Just f feed the fruits that are free on that particular day. And that's one great way to make sure that you have plenty gold. I'm down low on gold here because literally all I did was upgrade gems and trinkets here in the last uh, like couple days or so. 
So um, another thing that you guys can do is your astro guide. Once you start, uh, you know, filling in your astro guide, every time that you summon one up, you'll get some some um, gems back. What I tell you guys to do is to just leave them there and save them until it's time for the clan festival and save them until it's time for the um, Heroes Festival, if that's what you're into now. Uh, the reason why I say that is because like, what you want to do is you want to see how many Astro Gems you get by yourself for free. And then if, if you need a couple extra summons, dip into your capture uh, rewards here. Whether it's from the story, whatever, go ahead and deep, dip into that to, to get that extra little humph to get into you know whatever Astro Gems that you need for the rest of the week. So definitely make sure that you guys do your daily ads, the trinkets and the, the eggs because believe it or not i have pulled a five star trinket from that or a relic um, and i have pulled nat fives from those free ads so make sure that you guys do that another thing that you guys can do too is the nez uh, the nez appears here in the sh in the ship um, once every hour there's a small chance and he should appear on your ship at least five times a day if not six times a day I'm pretty sure I've counted him up to actually six times in one day. Somebody else that cannot correct me wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's up to six times. And um, if you encounter him, every 30 times that you encounter him on the ship, he will give you 100 Astro Gems. So uh, find Nez on the airship 30 times. There you go. You you get up, you find him 30 times, and you'll get 100 Astro Gems. So very important for you guys to check the trees here every hour on the hour. Another reason why you want to check the trees there very often, and I saved my, my uh, page here so that you guys can see. Uh, you go, you get three Astro Gems for finding Nez, so three times uh, 30, you know, there's 30, oh, what is it, 90 Astro Gems, so 90, so it's almost 200 Astro Gems that you can get every time that you find Nez. So it's an easy 200 Astro Gems that you can do, and pretty sure you can find Nez at least two times a month. So excuse me, you'll find him, you know, at least 400 Astro Gems a month. Another reason why you want to check the trees is because you'll find Astro Gems in the trees. Uh, so th like this one here, you discovered hidden treasure on their airship, there, there's 10 Astro Gems. So, you know, my ship has been leveled up, so I get a little bit better rewards and better gold and stuff like that. But go ahead and make sure that you guys are checking the ship every hour on the hour. Make sure you're checking for Nez. Um, and then, of course, capturing your Astromon, uh, releasing your Astromon, etc. So there's that. Another easy thing to do for you guys is during the Champions League, make sure, and I'm telling you this right now, make sure that you have a defense team on there. It's an easy 300 Astro Gems that you can do a week, and you'll essentially always start either at gold or silver. I usually start at platinum because I usually make it all the way up to heroes. Uh, sometimes... I think only one time I've ever really started a diamond, and I think it was like literally like on Sunday, like right after the reset. So, but another easy thing to do here, um, what you're going to do is the same thing as, you know, for free to play players. The only thing you're going to be doing is the random match. And I'm going to go ahead and do one here. And my page is loading. And depending on what week it is, some of the astronauts that you may have will not be used or may not be used, but I'm going to go ahead and do one for you guys. So you're going to get four arena points. You're going to get um, 30 match bonus points as well, too, which will bump you up 30 slots on the um, rankings. So it's another really, really easy way to get more Astro Gems during Champions League. Champions League is only available once a month, so it's very important for you guys to make sure that you've set up your defense team. Excuse me while I drink some water. I was trying to make this video a little bit under, you know, 10 minutes, but it looks like we're going to be going just a little bit over. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope this guide is very helpful for you guys, especially for uh, new players or mid-game players. This is, of course, tailored to also end-game players, although most end-game players should know exactly what to do now to get astrogems every week. Uh, my team is a little overpowered, but I'm going to show you guys my Light Balrona here um, and how pretty crazy she is there <laughs> i mean need i say more right there uh light barona is super awesome uh, she's uh she used to be one of the worst nat fives but after she got puncture and uh, uh the uh stunt the shock she's really really good now and this team is actually not that very good i can tell the 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 attack or the defense team that i'm up against here is not very very good though uh, this is also very, very low in the rankings, so that person may not even have put any gems or anything on those mons either. So, 
Um, but uh, you guys can see my teams. Um, I love these teams. Make sure you build a Water Vic. You know, make sure you guys build a Light Verdi whenever she comes around. Really, really perfectly viable. Very, very good Astramon. Um, even the Water Loki, like I said, you guys can watch my top five Nat 4s. You know, any Nat 4s that you guys pull that are, that are not Astramon that you're planning on using, you should just release them because when you release them, you'll also end up getting um, Astro Gems. You can get 50 from releasing Nat 4s, but you can also get up to 100 for releasing uh, Nat 4s that have been ascended to Nat 5. So if you have a Nat 4 and you ascend them to uh, 5 stars and then you release it, you'll actually end up getting a couple more or, or gems back. So another really easy way to um, you know get some gems. So let me go ahead and, and do that for you guys. I'm going to release some of these Nat 4s, see if we get any Astro Gems back. Um, I'll just release just these three here. And see if we get anything good. Nope, we got some gold, some fruit, and then, of course, the delicious essence that we need. So, um, okay, so I think that's pretty much it that I've really kind of wanted to cover is just, you know, the Astromon League. Oh, of course, one more thing. How could I forget? If you're new to the game, make sure, make sure, make sure, and I'm telling you this again one more time, make sure that you do your Titans battles with your clan every single week. Because it doesn't matter if you do a thousand, you know, points of damage, two thousand points of damage, however much, you will be getting a share of the rewards for that week, depending on how high your your Titan clan or how high the Titan that your clan is able to defeat will, will get. So at bosses level one hundred, your your whole clan will get ten thousand Astro gems, one twenty, eleven thousand two hundred fifty, so etc. 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 My clan has been able to make it to the top one before highest rank number one uh so we've been able to get you know a, a decent amount of gems from uh, and and uh clan medals from doing the cvc as well as the titans i think our titans high was like 140 yeah 140 so not that great but you know st still pretty decent uh so that's another thing that you want to do you make sure that you guys do that because you'll get your share of delicious rewards every single week and as long as you do those um, for me I usually land in the top <laughs> slot so I usually get 8% of the rewards which comes out to 900 Astro Gems a week so 9 times 3 is 36 basically what like or 9 times 4 so I usually end up getting 3600 Astro Gems a month um, you know 4.8 you, you get that a little bit less you know you think it comes out to around 2000 Astro Gems or so third spot same thing so your goal is to try to place as high as you can in your clan's titan battles so that you get some astro gems back and that's pretty much it guys really all i do is just run the story like crazy um, on a single given week i probably make anywhere between 1200 to 2000 astro gems just farming and getting legendaries i mean it's monday and i've already captured like three legendaries so that's something that you guys can do, can do <clears throat> As far as the special packages goes, guys, I sometimes buy the Nest Pass because, you know, this this week we're going to be getting the Gleam. I like to buy these because I've gotten very lucky and I've pulled quite a few variant Gleams from these. So the Gleam eggs are, are great, um, but it is like 9 bucks. so up to you guys if you decide to buy it. This month I also did get the Syria Pass because, of course, there is that Gleam, which I already got, I believe. Yeah, I got it last week. And same thing, I only got it because that thing was in there. If it's if For the rest of the re year, I'm going to really try to keep it like free to play as best as I can because I already dumped, I don't know, close to like 150 bucks on this game since Black Friday event. So, But I'm not going to be buying any more of these. I've purchased these in the past, and it's just it's too much money. So don't, don't do that. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm going to try to keep it nice, short, and sweet. Hopefully this is a much better condensed Astro Gem guide for you guys. Make sure you do your slimes. Make sure you log in every Monday. Do your arenas, uh, check your ship for the gems, uh, make sure that you guys do your Tower of Chaos as well every month. One more thing I forgot. <laughs> make sure that you do your Tower of Chaos. Sorry guys, I'm drinking some water here. I'm doing a lot of talking today, so all, all that's flowing out. Anyways, so if you do your Tower of Chaos and you get up to leave, it's like floor 50. Uh, 70th floor, you'll get 300 Astro Gems as well. So, there you go. Um, you know, that's 300 Astro Gems a month, so it's not really anything great, but you can do that. Um, I haven't done too much of the different towers yet. Uh, I'm kind of keeping them there because the top level...
pretty much gives you like a variant gleam. Um, so I'm going to try to keep that and not do these too too early because I kind of want to save and see what I get later on. If I pull another Dark Astromon or a Light Astromon, that's when I'll go for them. But right now I don't really need them. So... Uh, but anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully it's helpful for you guys uh, in determining, you know, what you need to do every week to get some Astro Gems back. But make sure you do your friends. Make sure that you do pretty much everything that I mentioned in this video. And you guys should be tip-top shaped to get at least a minimum 12,000 Astro Gems every month for your summons. If, if you're a little bit like me and you end up getting a really, really lucky with your uh, rares and your variants, uh, you'll end up getting anywhere between... 15,000 to 18,000 a month and that's more than enough to do at least one clan festival or one heroes festival round and depending on how your luck goes maybe you'll be able to save a couple astro gems so anyways guys hopefully this video was good let me know in the comment section down below if you found this helpful um and i'll catch you all in the next video take it easy guys